What's up guys, it's Adam Bombadi and today I'm going to show you another neat little tool to add to your streams and that is a heart rate monitor. These are going to be best for horror streams or fitness based streams. Now a regular heart rate monitor like a Fitbit, something that goes on your wrist, is not going to work for this. You need a chest harness heart rate monitor that supports Bluetooth Smart or Bluetooth Low Energy. I'll post different options in the description below, but I decided to go with the cheapest option, which was the CoolSpo HRM H6. It's pretty easy to put it on. Uh, it needs to have skin contact and basically you just put it under your boobs and then it has a hook that you can clasp on and adjust. Uh, ladies, if you are wearing a sports bra with this, like I said, it needs to have skin contact, so just make sure that you push the bra over the heart rate monitor. The first step to getting your heart rate to appear on your streams is to go to the Pulsoid website. That's Pulsoid.net. Click Get Started, then you'll be offered different pricing options which you can look through, but for the sake of the tutorial, we're going to select the free version. You'll need to create an account, buy your heart rate monitor, and then install the mobile app. The app is also called Pulsoid, but you will need the code from the website in order to be able to set up your heart rate monitor. Once you're in the app, all you have to do is log into your account and follow the code process that is stated on the website. In order to get your heart rate monitor to appear on the device selection list, make sure that you either put it on or turn it on if it has an on button. Once you see it on the list, select it, and then you'll see a next menu that has a bunch of numbers showing your current pulse and all that, then you're good to go. Head back over to the Pulsoid website, click on Widgets on the left side, and it is here you can customize how your pulse will look on your broadcasting software. If you see any you like, click Add to my widgets. Your current widgets appear at the top of the page. If you hit Configure, you'll see different customization options, uh, setting different heart rate ranges as well as changing the color of those ranges, and you can even change the font. When you have your configuration to your liking, just hit copy on the website, launch your broadcasting software, go to add source, browser source, and then add source again. You can name it whatever you want. For the sake of this, we're going to name it heart rate monitor. In the URL box, you're going to change that and paste in the link that you got from the website, hit done, and then your heart rate should appear. Now all you have to do before you go live is just make sure that your heart rate monitor is on and that the app is launched and you'll be good to go. If you want to see this in action, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. I mostly use this for my horror streams as well as for when I play Beat Saber. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below and let me know what kind of games you would play this with. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!